Hello YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt again today. Hey, have you ever heard of this thing called Vampire Drain? People talk about Vampire Drain with electric cars. And the thought is, if you park your car for quite a long time, maybe two or three weeks, without driving it, will the battery drain so much that you can't even start the car and go? This can happen if you go to the airport and you go on a holiday for two weeks and you come back and you go to your car and, and you can't start your car. One time I saw a video uh, of a guy with a Tesla, I forget if it was a Model S or a Model 3, but he had went to the airport, left his car there, and I guess the charge was quite low when he when he went to the airport, uh, less than a, a quarter charge or something. And he came back to the car and, and he had to have it towed. And so it got me thinking about the Bolt. And I went, wow, you know what? I've never really experienced any vampire drain with the Bolt. Um, I wonder if if that would happen to me. And so uh, recently I had the opportunity to go to the airport. Uh, I left the car parked in the long-term parking for a week. And I wanted to see about vampire drain. So I shot a little bit of video I'm going to share with you. Okay, so the vampire drain test. Here we are at 385. Let's see when we get back uh, a week from now. So with an electric car, you have your 12 volt battery and you have your high output battery. On the Chevy Bolt, it's a 60 kilowatt battery. With a regular car, a gasoline powered car, a diesel car, the engine actually recharges your 12 volt battery and your 12 volt battery runs all the electronics in your car. So with an electric car, because you don't have a gasoline powered engine, you use the high output battery to recharge your 12 volt battery. The other thing that can happen there is that your high output battery also needs conditioning. So if you park your car in an area that's extremely hot or extremely cold, at least with the Chevy Bolt, it has a system built in where it will heat or cool your battery pack when the car's not in use. And that will actually use up some of the battery. So that might be a condition that I'm not seeing here in Vancouver because in Vancouver the climate is quite mild. We don't get extremely hot or extremely cold. Um, so quite often my 60 kilowatt battery is used uh, only to, to drive the car. In the summer I'm not using any climate controls and we're definitely not doing any battery conditioning. So that's what I wonder. If I leave my car parked at the airport for a week Will I experience vampire drain? So let's try it out. Okay, so after five days sitting at the airport, that is my estimated range. So I'll have to check that back with um, what we left with and see how much we lost while we were uh, away. Yeah, so that's actually kind of funny. After a week, I experienced no vampire drain. In fact, because of the... Uh, the way the Chevy Bolt estimates your range, it actually looked like I slightly increased the amount of range that I would have, which is impossible. Of course, the car hadn't moved. Um, it had done no charging while I was uh, away. It was just sitting in the long-term parking. So yes, I feel quite confident that I can leave the Chevy Bolt parked at an airport for two or three weeks and come back and it will not uh, experience vampire drain. Now, I haven't done that. I've only done one week, so it's not a perfect test, but but it gives me a good indication. The one caveat there is if you parked your car maybe in Arizona or, you know, uh, Montreal or something in the middle of winter where it was very cold, extremely cold, and all the time the car is trying to recharge the, uh, sorry, uh, condition the battery, that you might have a different experience. So let me know your thoughts on Vampire Drain with the Bolt. After a week at the airport, I didn't, ex I didn't experience anything. All right, until next time, I hope that helps. Thanks, bye.